Good morning, everybody. Tools for the Homesteader, episode three. Now we're going to talk about screwdrivers today. Now keep in mind, this is for people who do not know. And there are people who do not know. So that's the whole point of this little series. I know I'm a week behind on getting this one out, but been a lot going on. Holidays, all that kind of stuff. But back at it. Now, first off, here's my little tray of screwdrivers that I'm going to show you. And a couple more. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Probably going to get in trouble. Ladies. And gentlemen this is not a screwdriver run around in the house need to tighten something up run to the silverware drawer and grab a butter knife don't do that that is not a screwdriver that is not a screwdriver it's obvious that that has been used as a screwdriver at some point. So, anyway, don't beat me up on that. It happens. Now, the most common things you need around the house, around the homestead, is a flat screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. Alright, now these two happen to be from the Harbor Freight Chinese Gym Store. They're not bad. They work. Uh, if that's all you can get, that's all you can get. They will work. And these are that little black end on them, on each one of them, that are magnetic tips, which do help out sometimes. The second thing you might want around the house, the homestead, are these little stubbies. A little stubby screwdriver. Now this is a Craftsman that came out of my original first set of Craftsmans that I ever had, which was years and years and years and years ago, uh, at least 40 years ago. They're so old they're made in the USA. So this one, I have no idea where it came from, but it's a little stubby Phillips. That's also very handy to have around. Now let's see, let's go to this kind of screwdriver here. Now this is another one that was in one of my original sets of tools years back. This is a Stanley. You know it's old because it's made in the USA. And this is a ratcheting screwdriver. It will ratchet. Got a little thing here. And it'll reverse. Or you put it in the center and it'll stay fixed. Now this one is handy because unscrew your top here and inside there you can keep several bits. There's a Phillips, there's a flat, there's a Torx, which you see those in some of the newer stuff, and there's a square point. Now if you live in a mobile home, double wide, whatever, as I do, that's how they put those together most of the time is with those square points. So sometimes you've got to have one of those. Nothing else will work. So that is something very, very good you might consider having. Now for moms and dads with kids, or even your own stuff, some of it. They'll bring you the little video game. Batteries are dead, or the toys. Batteries are dead. You look where the battery is, there's little tiny, little tiny Phillips screws most of the time. So you'll want one of these. This is a little tiny Phillips screwdriver. This is a Craftsman. I, this is not from my original set. I no idea where it came from. Anyway, that is the Phillips, and you'll want a little bitty tiny flat one like this for all 
all different kind of stuff. Now this is another one of the, I believe the Harbor Freight ones, or some kind of set I got at some point in time. Now for the micros, the little, what I call micro screwdrivers, this is one, I think this was a Father's Day present a few years ago. This is a Cobalt from Lowe's. And it comes with these little bits right here. There's all kind of bits in there, small torques, a small squares, flats, Phillips, uh, even some hex heads. Very, very handy. Those um, very good tools. That's something you want to have. Now let's see, let's look at this one here. Now this is uh, angled uh, Phillips and flat. Sometimes you'll get in a real tight spot or you don't have room to put a screwdriver down in there. So you have to stick it down in there and use it that way. Some of those kind of screws are a pain in the you know what, but that's why they make this kind of tool so you can get to it. And these are available almost anywhere. I have a bunch of these. No name brand on it, but it doesn't matter, it works. Now, say you don't have any of these and you're at a flea market, you're at a yard sale, you're whatever, and you see something like this. This is an old Craftsman also. All right, it's rusted up. The end's rounded, it's not flat. But the person there wants, uh, you know, 25, 30 cents for it. Buy this tool. Now what you can do, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you right quick. Once you get this home, and I'm not gonna use the the grinder and all that because a lot of people don't have grinders around the house. Just get it still somehow or another. Get you a file, which we'll talk about files later. Flatten that end back off. Now these are generally soft metal, so this is not hard to do. Okay, we got our end back flat. Just gonna clean up that edge. Cause it'll leave a burr, knock that burr off of it. like that and get you a little piece of sandpaper clean it up now you can take it as far as you want to on shininess clean you know make it clean but right there now you have a serviceable screwdriver once again. Now this one I will eventually clean up a lot more. Just take your sandpaper, clean that rust off of there, and get you some oil, some kind of oil, oil it down, put it in your toolbox and you got it. And it cost you next to nothing. Now I'm trying to remember, this may be one out of the original set I'm not sure, but uh, it is Craftsman USA. But yard sales, flea markets is where you can find this kind of stuff. Very, very inexpensive. Uh, here's another one, same thing. Flat screwdriver. Rust it on the end, do it just like that. That is a helping hand made in China. At a flea market yard sale, I would not give more than 10 cents for that. 
but it'll work. Clean it up just like we did that one, and it'll work. All right, here's an old, old Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, the brand name has wore off of it. Who knows what it is? Might be a Stanley. Now, the teeth on this one are a little bit worn. On these kind, all you do is get you a triangle file. Or a chain, uh, not a chainsaw file, but you can get a triangle file. Any hardware store has them. Put it in there like that. Bring that point back out like it should be. It doesn't take much because it's not hard metal. Oh, I know that's hard to see, but there you go. Now you got you a Phillips screwdriver. Now this one is uh, some kind of uh, probably chrome vanadium uh, that doesn't rust very easy. Stick it in a bucket of water overnight, it'll rust. But so there you go. And of course, if the handles are messed up, you can always just sand on them a little bit, clean them up, put that in your toolbox. Ready to go. Now, that'll just about cover screwdrivers. Uh, it's not necessary. If you wanted to pick, if I had only one of these to pick from to have around the house, and all I could have was one, I would go with this one here because you can interchange the bits. And I sure hope I can find that cap. <laughs> he just, just slips in there like that. And there's a little magnet in here that helps hold it in there. If I can only pick one, that's the one I would pick. And these, even though this is a very old one, uh, these are still available. You can buy them new if you want. You can always find them at yard sales, flea markets. That's a good place to buy tools. There it is right there. Hang on. I sure don't want to lose that. As long as I've had this thing. So there we go. Here's our screwdrivers. That every homesteader, homeowner, apartment dweller, you need these if you live in a cabin in the woods. You need screwdrivers. And remember, these are not screwdrivers. Those are made to take scrape butter out of the jar, you know, and that's what they're for. <laughs> All right, that'll do it. This is a short one. And I thank you all for watching very much. Uh, questions, comments, uh, please leave me a comment below. Like the video if you like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you would, please. Uh, I need all the views I can get. Now, the next episode will be episode four, and we're going to talk about hammers. And... In the hammer video, I will. We're going to sort of restore an old hammer that came in my big box of tools a while back. And I'll show you how to put a new handle on there. And I'll show you some other things about some other hammers that you may or may not want to uh, have. There's some really, really cheapos, and there's some good ones. Uh, money wise, it don't cost you any more. So, uh, Stay tuned for that one, and I'll have another special alert for the ladies on the hammer video. So. <laughs> Once again, thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and I will see y'all on the next one.